Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I wanted to give you guys a quick first look at the iPhone 7 in jet black. So this is exactly what came today. Uh, I have the 128 gigabyte variant here, and as you can see, it is glorious. Now, if you are on the fence between um, matte black and the jet black, definitely go jet black in my opinion. I am so happy I did. Uh, everyone was kind of like freaking out, like, oh, don't get it, it's gonna scratch really easily. Honestly, that's really not an issue at all so far. So I'm not going to use a case on it. Um, I've been using it all day today uh, out at some parties and it was just fine. You can see there are some fingerprints on it. I'm trying to get it in the right light for you guys to see. But from normal use, this thing I think is going to hold up just fine. I wouldn't worry about scratches. The black one actually does show fingerprints as well. So it is what it is. Uh, so I just want to hit a few of the key features about this. So first of all, this is my first uh, iPhone over 16 gigabytes. So I am really loving the 128 gig of space. I don't really have to worry about anything, so that's super nice to have, even though you know I try to keep my phone fairly simplistic there with the apps, but now I don't have to worry about photos as much, which is nice. Second of all, the home button. And now it has a completely new feel to it. Um, it feels like the whole bottom of the phone is vibrating when you tap it or double tap it. It does not feel like a button. It feels almost like the new MacBook's trackpad, but a little bit different. It's a little bit more I don't know, it's just a different sensation because you're used to feeling a button there and it's just not. So um, I really do like it though. It's satisfying and um, the Taptic engine in here is not loud at all. So when I get a notification, it doesn't like buzz or anything. I really like that. Now I haven't set this thing on a table, so I don't really know how loud that buzz is, but I'm gonna try to keep this thing off tables as much for as much as possible just because I don't wanna scratch it up. So if you do get the Jet Black, you can get like a back screen protector. That's clear if you don't like cases, I hate cases. Um, well, I don't like using them. I like reviewing them though. You can get like kind of like a screen protector, but it's for the back. And um, personally, I don't want a plasticky feel. This does feel like metal, like it is cold to the touch, like normal aluminum would be. It's just glossy and it's super cool. It looks really classy. And honestly, uh, I've gotten nothing but compliments on it. So everyone seems to like it. And um, I think it just looks really good. So next up, lack of a headphone jack. So Honestly, so far, I haven't even needed it, uh, but I will say that the included lightning ear pods that it comes with are not bad. I think they're marginally better than the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack uh, ones that, you know, like I think the DAC is better for the lightning cable one. I'm going to do further tests probably on the my old iPhone 6. I'll just plug my normal 3.5 millimeter headphone uh, into the jack, and then I'll also try the new lightning enabled ones, and I'll see which ones sound better, but... I can almost guarantee you that the lightning ones will sound slightly better, not a whole lot. They should just have a little bit more clarity as well as a little bit more volume thanks to the extra power from that DAC. So those are the three or four main features of this thing that I really like. Uh, obviously I haven't had force touch before, so I really do like that. Um, you know, it's a really nice feature to have, super helpful. And you know, coming from an iPhone 6, this is a pretty big upgrade. Now if you have a 6S, you might not even see this as a big upgrade. Uh, I haven't seen the performance improvements just yet, like, because these things are benchmarking crazy high, uh, but I haven't seen that just yet. I will say that this thing came, I got this thing around uh, 5.30 p.m. It's 2.22 a.m. I've been using it throughout the night, downloading apps, getting this thing set up. I actually did an iOS update on this thing, and it's only at 18%. I have not plugged it in once. I'm going to wait for it to go down, and then I'm going to fully charge it tonight. Uh, but yeah, that's just, the battery life on this thing so far is superb. Uh, the colors look good. There's really nothing I can complain about. I mean, it's it's an awesome, all-around great phone. Now, uh, I have not done any water tests on this thing. I don't plan to, but I know that if I do drop it in a bucket of water like last time, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, if that does happen, I'm not worried about it. So overall, my recommendations, if you're going to get the iPhone 7, personally, the only difference between this one and the 7 Plus is screen size, battery size, and uh, the cameras, which honestly, this camera is great. It's got OIS. It's basically, as far as I know, it's the exact same camera, except this one doesn't have the telephoto lens, which gives you two times optical zoom. Like, that's not really a big deal at all. People are just making, um, you know, a big deal out of it uh, because, you know, two cameras, ooh, that's so cool. It doesn't really matter. So if you like the smaller form factor, definitely get the seven. This thing feels great in the hand. It's super, it's smooth, but it's not super slick. It just, it feels great. So yeah, I know that's what she said. But overall, I think this is a great phone. So anyways, my recommendations, iPhone 7, Jet Black, just like this one, 128 gigabyte model, 
literally, this is probably the perfect phone in my opinion. So check it out. And uh, I know these things are all back ordered and stuff, but if you can get your hands on one, I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, they're great phones. I'm gonna have a lot of videos coming up in the future. I just wanted to give you guys a quick first look uh, around the device. So I'm going to kind of show you around here. There's a little bit of dust up there. Um, but this thing is in perfect condition besides the uh, little bits of fingerprints, which are easily you know removable or just, just wipe them off. Um, but yeah, this thing is awesome. It's a rock star. So check it out, guys. See you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Peace.